Hey everyone, it's Marina. I'm here today with a small project share. I have, um, I realized when I did my video for, uh, when I was showing my craft area, that I have a lot of stuff that needed to be altered, and it was just piling up, and I really wanted to alter some of it, and I've kind of just been, um, procrastinating and not doing it, even though I really wanted to. Um, so I've taken some of my paper clips out, or it's not paper clips, goodness, um, clothespins, and I've altered a couple of them, so I just wanted to share those with you guys today, real fast. So I just added some eyelash yarn, some sprays, and a uh, feather, and that's that one. I used the little flowers that I got gifted by Lori and some um, uh, lace trim and then I just used a Tim Holtz um, chit chat sentiment. More lace trim and some flowers. Oh and this one I used embossing powder on. I embossed, I took the metal off and then I embossed it and I didn't, I wasn't thinking when I used the hot glue gun and I put it on there, it kind of just peeled off the first time, but that's that one. And then I've been wanting to use the, the, these are Tim Holtz numbers that I got, I've been wanting to use them, but I couldn't think of uh, what to use them for, and then I thought I should use this one because, well, I have three kids, so that's why I picked three. Three little, crazy little children. I just tied some um, twine through this and then added a little charm. This is one of the charms that I got from Sherry. Vintage button. I like this, um, sorry, I cannot talk tonight. I like this, um, this ribbon. I've been wanting to use it, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet and or done anything that I would use it with. but. I think I'm going to put this on a journal that I make sometime. I really like, I really like it. It's pretty. And uh, this is just a flower-loaded one. I actually like this one because I wanted to use the orange, but the orange was like I couldn't stick it straight up. Plus, it was really big. So when I put it on there, it was like tilted to the side. So I just stuffed these little guys in there, and I love how it turned out. And there's this one. I left this one, um, knit, uh, bare. Oh, sorry, there's a little dangle there. And that's a paper flower that I made with Tim Holtz, uh, die cut. And then this one, yes, there's a couple of Halloween looking ones because they were the ribbon I wanted to use. Been wanting to use a lot of the ribbon for a long time. And, um, I have a couple of, um, clothes pit, a few quite a few clothespins left so I want to make more the next time the next ones I'm going to try out paper and maybe maybe some glitter I'm not a big glitter fan unless it's in a glue and then my steampunk one where I took these off uh, the metal parts and then I just distressed them in vintage photo um, this is some oops I think I just pulled a little bit off oops okay so this is some of the trim that I got from Joann's it's just this really cool gold trim and so I just made a little steampunk one So, those are my first altered clothespins. I've never done it before, but it was fun. And I definitely cannot wait to make some more. Just got to do a few other things first. But, um, <clears throat> tell me what you think. I'm not, I'm not, you know, a little nervous. I haven't done it before, so, um, it was lots of fun, though. Alright, thank you everyone for stopping by. Have a good day.